Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about AI. In this video, we're going to cover some parts of AI that we haven't covered on this channel. And particularly in this video, we're going to talk about what's the easiest or best method to humanize text written by AI. So I'm sure that all of you know AI is taking over. We have a lot of videos, articles, YouTube shorts, and so on that are literally written by AI. And of course, AI doesn't really sound human. Even us as people can distinguish whatever a text or a video is made by AI or not and even specialized websites can do that for us. In this video we're gonna have a discussion and we're gonna see what are the best tools to improve the texts generated by AI and we're gonna see some differences between some platforms. So first of all I'm here on ChatGPT and I'm just gonna ask ChatGPT to generate a short article about Windows 11 to be with the theme on this channel and I'm just gonna send this message and ChatGPT of course will start to generate a short article and from here I'm just gonna copy the first three paragraphs and then we're gonna compare in this video two platforms, one being Bypass GPT and one of them being Quillbot. And we're gonna humanize this text that was generated by ChatGPT with both Bypass GPT and Quillbot. And we're gonna see on some different platforms which website does a better job. We're gonna see on originality.ai, GPT0, and also Winston.ai. Of course, there are a lot of other websites that you can use for this. But in this video, I've just selected these three websites. So first of all, let's start with Quillbot because we can do this very fast. I'm just going to paste the text here. I'm just going to click on paraphrase so that this text will be humanized a little bit more and we're going to see what it can do. Of course, we have the free version so it will just rephrase the first two paragraphs but it's no issue. We're just going to use the first two paragraphs and now this paragraph, let's copy it into some AI detectors and see what percentage of AI is detected on our text. I'm just going to paste the text here and let's see. I'm going to click on scan now and let's see what this platform will find and as you can see it has 100% AI score. I think that is really not what we're looking for. Let's also check on GPT-0. I'm just going to paste the two paragraphs and then I'm just going to click on run scan. We can now see in the document section that AI probability is 98%. So I think that is also something that we can see for sure that Quillbot is not really doing a really good job by rephrasing our text. It still can be easily detected as AI and of course sounds like AI. Let's also check on Winston.ai and see this. Let's click on scan text and of course it's gonna do some probability checks and everything else. And as you can see, we can see Winston has detected the text as 0% human. So tools like Quillbot, as you can see, are not doing the best job whenever we're trying to humanize a text, rephrase a text. But now let's see the highlight of this video, which is Bypass GPT. And let's see how Bypass GPT is gonna do the job for us. I'm gonna paste the same two paragraphs that we used on the other website, and then I'm gonna click on Humanize. Let's see what Bypass GPT can do with our text. Also, in the meantime, you're gonna see that Bypass GPT is also checking different platforms and it tries to see if the rewritten text can bypass certain AI detectors. I think that is also a nice feature of Bypass GPT, which can come in handy. But we're also going to manually check on those websites to see whether Bypass GPT has done a good job or not. And here it is, our rewritten text, our humanized text, if we can say so. Let's copy it and let's test it out in our platforms that we've just used with the previous website. Let's paste it on originality.a. AI, paste the text here, and then I'm going to click on start scan. And as you can see, it is quite a big difference. We have 86% original and 14% AI. And I think with the other platform, we had like 98 or 100% AI. So I think this is pretty good. Let's also test on GPT-0. Just click on new scan then paste our text and then run the scan. Then we can see in the document section how that is. As you can see, even though the AI probability is on 96%, classification is set to human. So I think that is good it's way better than the other platform. And if we were to check on Winston again, I'm just gonna click on quick scan, paste our text here, and then scan our text. And let's see how this will do on Winston.ai. As you can see, Winston has detected the text as 99% human. Our scan was unable to detect material use of AI text generation tools. So I think you can see from this little test that Bypass GPT is doing a better job than other platforms on rephrasing or humanizing text. And if you want to check out Bypass GPT, you're gonna be able to do that from the description below. If of course you're using AI to generate articles or generate certain scripts, you 
can use it easily to rephrase your texts generated by AIs like ChatGPT and so on. So make sure to do the tests for yourself and see what is the best platform that you can use to humanize your AI generated text. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.